Hello friends. <coughs> of ambition by Francis Bacon, sentence 90. So in the last class we saw, last and previous class we saw how to bridle or control, uh, keep ambitious men under control. So now today, nine sentence 90. Of ambition, it is less harmful. The ambition to prevail in great things than that other to appear in everything for that breeds confusion and Mars business. Mars means destroys. You can make me or mar me. There is a phrase, mar, M A R, that is to destroy me. You can make me or destroy me. That's the meaning. That is, ambitious people should only. Uh, get themselves busy with great things or silly things say about war see, or a promotion to uh, see the to become a minister or an ambassador and so on not how many packets of milk you brought and things like that these are not the things that uh, an ambitious man should concern himself Understand? He should not concern himself with the small things. As a of ambitions, it is less harmful the ambition to prevail in great things. So ambitious people should their their as aim or their target should be big things like promotion, as I told you, or even to become a king, like Mike Beth, you know. Mike Beth had a had his ambition in great things that is he wanted to become the king see like that the same with you can see that the Claudius Hannes Hangel so he also had that ambition to become king so ambitious people should think of big things not small things then other to appear in everything to interfere with everything, say buying milk, fish, vegetables, and so on, what nonsense is that? For that breeds confusion. Breeds me that gives birth to, or that causes, that causes confusion and uh, mass business, means destroys business. So ambitious men should, they will, they should only think about big things. But yet, it is less dangerous to have an ambitious man stirring in business. So he says that, <laughs> Bacon says, it is better that let them be, it is better that uh, they, should, uh, they should always be doing something. Their mind should not get a holiday. If their mind gets a holiday, what will happen? They will think of uh, some uh, uh, conspiracy and all those. So better that they, okay. In that case, if they are, if they want to keep themselves busy, okay, let them keep themselves busy. That is better than to great in dependences. That means it is better to be busy than to become great with the help of others. Support is dependences. It's better for an ambitious man to remain busy. Busy, that is thinking about his uh, projects rather than get support of others and then dependences based on the help or support of others, he should not be, think of becoming great. Should busy himself, not getting the support of others. Dependences. 21. He that seeketh to be eminent amongst able men hath a great task. Has a great task. Suppose there are uh, under a prince, there are 50 able men, and you want to become the first. That is something great. Says. And that is good for the state also. Because you are going to become first among the able men. And rather than, but that is ever good for the public. Yeah. That is what he says. He that seeketh to be eminent. He who wants to become eminent amongst the able men. So there are only able men and you want to become number one. That, that is good. Had a great task because it's not that easy. So you can go up to 90% of marks in your exam. 
from 91, 92, that will be very tough. Because there will be 90 percent many, 91 percent say there will be 15, 92 percent there will be 10, 93 percent there may be 7, 94 percent there will be 5, 95 percent there will be 3, 99 percent there will be 2, 100 only 1. Then it's okay. See that. On the other hand, suppose all the students in the, the, in the class, they are lazy, they don't study anything. You are the only person. I among them you become great, what is what why did you ask for? That is what is cipher she says. Next sentence is that. He that is secret to be eminent amongst able men have the great task. But that is ever good for the public. It's good for the public also. But he that plots to be the only figure among ciphers, worthless people. It is the decay of the whole age. Decay, that means the standards will come down. There are hundred worthless people. And you are the only worthy people, able man. And you become the first. What of that? There's nothing, no challenge. That's the point. There's no competition. For this man, there's no competition. So that is a decay of the whole age. Decay means it is, in fact, a loss of value, or you can say destruction. It may cause destruction of one age. 23. Honor has three things in it. You want to become ambitious, you want to become honorable, then you should have three qualities. What is that? First, the vantage ground to do good. A person who is trying to become a, an ambitious person should think that this is an opportunity, vantage ground. This is an opportunity for me to do good to others. You are a minister, then so like uh, the Old Testament Joseph, when he became minister, you remember, in Egypt, he did good to others. Uh, when there was a famine, he advised the king to store uh, things, and then when people came, not only in his estate, but uh, from other places, he could do some service to them. So if you want to become an ambitious, if you are an ambitious man, if you want to become a great man, first quality is that, that greatness should be used for the public good. That's the first one. And second is, is he is an honest man, uh, such a person is an honest man. His intentions, he that had the best of, sorry, 23, honor had three things in it. First, the advantage ground to do good. Second, the approach to kings and principal persons uh, should be, you should have that uh, intention in your mind, that you get some influence. influence. You can easily approach kings and the principal persons. That's okay for you and that also for good, for others. And raising of a man's own fortunes. So you can uh, think of uh, developing or you can say raising your own fortunes, you can work for that. So if you are an honest man and if you are a, if you are aspiring to become great or if you are an ambitious man, you should have three qualities. One, this position that you are holding should be used for public good. Second, the position that you are holding should be used for getting easy approach to kings and princes. So that you can do something good. And third, you can work for the improvement or that is, uh, the, that is your own fortunes, not to do any harm to others. You can raise your own fortunes. That means you can see that you get more influence or you get more wealth or you get more uh, greater positions and so on, but not for hunting other people. So three things, one should be opportunity for doing good, two opportunity for uh, your own development and three opportunity for getting access, easy access to uh, kings and princes and influential persons, ministers and so on. He that had the best of these intentions, these three intentions, when he aspired, he is an honest man. If you are trying to be ambitious and aspire to become great. If you have these three intentions, one, use it for public good, two, 
Use it for getting easy access to kings and princes. Three, use it for your own, de your own development. Then such a person is an honest man. Three intentions. And that prince that can design of these intentions in another that has parent is a vice prince. There may be 10 or 15 ambitious. But a prince who can design, see, understand, design here means understand the difference. If you can understand the or you can study the mind of such a person and then bring him up above all the others. In such a prince is a wise prince. Not any they can have. A person who is, you can see many persons will be aspiring to become great. That is a prince who can understand this, the mind of a person, that he has good intentions. Do good to others, get approached to great men, and develop his own fortunes. If a prince can discern, that is, understand, find out these intentions in a person, such a prince is a wise prince. And 25 and the last, generally, let princes and states choose such ministers as are more sensible of duty than of rising. Another point. You choose ministers, what kind of ministers? Not those people who are always thinking about rising, coming up in life, but who are very conscious about their duty. Coming up in life is a secondary thing. Like teachers now, getting salary is a secondary thing for them. What's important is teaching, like that. So coming up in life is secondary. Important thing is your duty. And such as love business Rather than upon ra rather upon conscious than upon bravery. So such a person should also should have love for doing duty than showing others their bravery. Listen, first thing is that then you should have uh, choose such ministries in a sense it should be your, your duty, then love business rather than conscience. So sorry, uh, con uh, Love duty, so love business rather upon conscience than upon bravery. Love duty upon conscience means by nature you are a person who, who is honest and sincere and hardworking. There are some people like that. So it is, it has been said now, uh, the, whole, you know, the whole world if you take, the 80-20 principle, Pareto principle, Pareto, that is an Italian who found out that everywhere, anywhere you see, 20% are persons are hardworking, 80% are just uh, so so. An institution you can take it, 20% of them are very hardworking, because they are so conscious about that, about beauty. 80%? What? Once in a in a British Council seminar, the resource person said, according to him, he says that he, according to him, uh, only 19% of, according to him, not me, 19% of teachers do work. Is it that? The rest, they work. What? 19% all over the world, he says. That is his opinion, not mine. And because he might have, have uh, more experience with teachers, organizing seminars and so on, going to different places. So he says only 19% of teachers are working. It means conscious, they are conscious about beauty bound. Others are also working. Like that he says, a prince should choose a person it is more sensible of duty than of rising. The rising is only second. And such as love business rather upon conscience than upon bravery. So by nature you should love business. You should consider that it is my duty rather than bravery. It means to come up in life. And let, 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 uh, let them discern a busy nature from a building mind.
very important. Some people I can see that the world is busy, but willing mind is the most important thing. So such people should be selected for higher posts. First, it should be you should consider you should love your duty. Duty. Secondly, that duty should be your first preference. Thirdly, you should be willing to work rather than just remain busy. There are some people you can see. They will always at the look at the watch or clock, whether it is time or not. Is this four o'clock or five o'clock like that? But there are others who just don't care about time. They are willing to work. They have willing mind. That is a very beautiful. The sentence twenty-five is a guidance you can see for interviewers. Those people who are interviewing. Uh, people for appointment and so on, selection should see these three points: whether they have love for duty, whether they have a willing mind, whether whether they are conscious of their duty. If you have these three qualities, definitely you can just close your eyes and appoint that person or select that person. So it's a selection principle, so to speak. Life, okay. So the main points today that I have seen: ambitious people should bother about only great things. If they interfere in small things, it will be confusion. And secondly, is you know, ambitious men should be always let let ambition men let men be kept busy rather than let him become great on the support of other people. That should not be done. And third, we saw if you are the, Eminent. If you want to become eminent, eminent among able men, that is good for the state, good for the organisers. But on the other hand, if you are, if you are the only able man among worthless people, then that will be the decay of business, the decay of the institution. And uh, and the next point is, three things: on, an honourable person, a person who has honour, should. When before becoming or aspiring, hoping to become great, he must think of three things. First, if I become great, that will be opportunity for helping others. If I become great, it will be, it will be an opportunity for meeting great men, and getting access now, easy, ministers, prime ministers, and so on. And thirdly, he should uh, uh, he should what is the third uh, honest as yes. a uh, third is the principle. Third is he should. Of course, try to develop himself or raise. He should raise his fortunes. Don't do harm to others. And then the prince or the king should discern three things. What are his intentions? What are the three intentions? Intentions are one: people who are aspiring, they should do. first and foremost. The important thing is that they should be. Duty conscious, they should be. They should be willing to work, and they should love their duty. In that case, such a man will be the perfect person for you. You can select. I hope that we have enjoyed this. In fact, I when I was talking, I mean <laughs> speaking to you about this, I was thrilled and joy. Was a lot of insights into the human mind. You know how to control the ambitious. Everywhere you find these people, how to control them? Stopping them, checking them is very dangerous because they are full of energy. You know. Their BMR, we say, basal metabolic rate is so high. If you stop them, it's dangerous for them and dangerous for others. So how to control them? Use favorites, balance them. Is that it? Uh, or it's a, see that they are from mean. They are meaner. In birth, so lots of things we have seen about one, one to eight points we have seen in the last class and the previous class. So today we come to the see that what kind of a person you should choose. You should not just the honest that will be too general. You should be duty conscious, love his duty, and willing to do. Sometimes what happens, you know, you appoint uh, extraordinary people with extraordinary qualification. But if they don't do their work, what is the use? It's 
Sunday. Yeah. Yes. Hope that you enjoyed and uh, you are enjoying. Uh, we will again meet with the Hazrat Yes, sir, by bacon. And before that, please keep this in your mind. Keep distance to keep Corona away. Alright? So, bye. Have a nice day.